So I've been working on uh, my ADC, HNI ADC board, um, which is I'm planning to use for um, like a STM project, but I was just basically trying to build it as a general um, Arduino shield, which can do 100 kilosampel, 16-bit uh, analog acquisition, plus minus 10 volts. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm not, you know, I, I'm not a huge fan of Arduinos, but the shield form factor is now pretty standard. So in fact, um, it gives me a lot of flexibility to move between like an AVR part or an ARM part or an STM32 um, or even an FPGA. You know, you can get all these things with uh, Arduino headers for low cost now. So I figured if I do it as a shield, it gives me some flexibility in what I interface it to. And actually, initially, it will probably be an STM32 um, board with uh, with the Arduino header, which is like the uh, Olimex um, board, which I think is a, is a clone of the uh, Maple uh, uh, Maple Leaf the Leaf Labs stuff STM32 stuff. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's what I've been doing. And I was just yesterday, I was just bringing up the um, the ADC, which is a linear part and you know there as is usually the case with my stuff there are a bunch of bodges I had to do um, the most significant of which was I I uh, shorted out some pins so somehow either me or KiCad had kind of screwed up and shorted out a couple of pins um, so yeah the way these parts work basically is that you know there's uh, there are eight channels and they go into a, an analog MUX um, and it's all this is all differential, um, so it's they, they go through to this mux, and then that the mux is looped back into the ADC, and that's done externally. You know, you can just loop back. So you could, I guess, if you wanted to, just use the ADC or use the mux and and then do some filtering or something, and then loop it back into the ADC. I don't know, um, but you have those kind of options. Um, and somehow, what I've done is I like one of the um, pairs had just been, it just was just going into the ground plane. I don't know why it hadn't, like, maybe I hadn't reflowed the the, the ground plane or whatever, um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know, it was just, uh, I had, it was just going onto the ground plane, and then, obviously, this is a lesson in checking your PCBs, I guess, a bit more carefully, and I didn't, probably didn't do a proper DRC uh, check before I sent it out. Hey, this was the original um, version of the board. Uh, if it can get it to focus. Yeah, perhaps not. Yeah, anyway, um, maybe you can see that just here, you know, this, this should be looping back, but actually those two pins are just kind of going to the ground pane. It's kind of ridiculous. Anyway, I got it all up and running with all of the bodges, um, and uh, it works fine. Um, in the end, I kind of diagnosed it. Diagnosed it. I was kind of, um, I was like, I just couldn't understand why it wasn't working. And I was then just connecting the signal directly to the differential um, ADC inputs, and then it was kind of working. You know, it's kind of working a bit because um, it wasn't both of the pairs that were short to go, just one of them. Um, and then, uh, yeah, after fiddling with that and doing all sorts of things like pulling the chip off, and um, I looked at the board, one of the unpopulated boards, and I was like, oh, right, okay, I shorted it, nice. So, yeah, there's that. Um, the footprints for the SMAs are also wrong, so you can see on this board, I basically, I kind of had to, um, well, it's a different board, actually, because I got the footprints wrong on a bunch of boards, but... Yeah, I had to kind of drill out the holes a bit to get the SMAs in, which is not particularly pleasant. This was, uh, I bodged the SF, uh, SPI lines um, when I was trying to figure out what was going wrong, but they're actually fine. Um, the decoupling on the voltage reference was wrong, so I had to fix that. Um, and also the footprint was a bit weird. Um, it's, the part actually can work, has an internal voltage reference, uh, so it would work without without the voltage reference um, but you know I populate you know you can either populate it or not I guess um, and it'll just work um, yeah so the revised version of, got of that has now gone out uh, 
So this is the this is the revised board. There was a, one other thing I did, and well, actually, kind of substantially rerouted um, stuff because you can see on the old version. Um, uh, you can see on the old version, I rooted a bunch of stuff under the chip, and I noticed um, as I was debugging things. Um, I don't know if that comes through. You can see I also have the evaluation board, obviously, um, and was kind of working on. You can see actually they just have a big ground plane under the chip on the evaluation board, and actually on this they have a bunch of wires going through, which I assume may be thermal wires, but I don't know. Um, they have a bunch of wires going through. So anyway, um, yeah, I decided that I would uh, not root anything under the chip. Um, and actually, they recommend that in you know the data sheet. They say uh, don't you know you shouldn't particularly digital stuff. You shouldn't root under the chip. Um, so that's the revised uh, layout, and you can see I'm pretty much there's almost nothing under the chip. Um, and then I've looted all the analogs, all the stuff just. Yeah, analog stuff just goes around. We also reordered the connectors to make routing a little bit easier, um, and then labelled the channels and yeah, just generally kind of tidied it up. So hopefully um, that new uh, version of the board will go out, and there won't be too many issues. Um, yeah, I mean for me, I don't know if this will ever become something that uh, ever gets used for other projects. Um, it kind of, I feel feel like it would be a nice little Arduino shield. It could be useful for a bunch of people to to use. So um, yeah, if any if anyone does want it, the Gerbers are on my website, and I'll you know if you want one um, built up, do let me know. Um, but uh, yeah, for me probably actually the the kind of hack together board will be fine for for the immediate projects I have. So yeah, that's just a quick update on that project, and uh, I will post again um, when the new revision of the board comes and I know if it works.